Excuse me. I'm terribly sorry to bother you, sir. Oh, <laughs> what a well-mannered lass you are. Uh, I'd be pleased as punch to help you if I can. I'm looking for a boy who's not from around here. Have you seen him? Hmm, I think I know just who you're talking about. He scampered off toward yon castle in a right hurry. Thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> Tara, I hope you're still there.
can feel the light. There's no way I can fight like this. Hurry! You gotta get that girl to some place that's safe. Who are you? Why do you have a keyblade? I'll tell you later. Right now, we gotta stop these things. Thank you. My name is Aqua. I train under Master Ericus. And I'm Mickey. I used to be Yen Sin's apprentice. I came back to him for some more training. I sense light within this girl. You think that's why they attacked her? Yep. I think you might be absolutely right. If you ask me, she must be somebody pretty extraordinary. Yes, I'm quite certain she's someone we're supposed to protect. Let's join forces! Oh no! Not now! I'll be okay! See you real soon! Here! Are these for me? I picked you some flowers. Thank you for saving me. Oh, they're lovely. You're so sweet. My name's Kyrie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm Aqua. Kyrie, about that light. Kyrie! Oh. oh, Grandma! Wait, Kyrie, just a minute. I just cast a magic spell on you. One day when you're in trouble, the light within you will lead you to the light of another. Someone to keep you safe. Thanks! <laughs> there you are. <laughs> it's time to go. Okay. Oh. Grandma? Mm hmm? What is it? Could you tell me that story? <laughs> Again, dear? Please. <laughs> Very well, then. <laughs> Long ago, people lived in peace, bathed in the warmth of light. Everyone loved the light. Then, people began to fight over it. They wanted to keep it for themselves. Darkness was born in their hearts. The darkness spread, swallowing the light in many people's hearts. It covered everything, and the world disappeared. But small fragments of light survived in the hearts of children. With these fragments of light, children rebuilt the lost world. It's the world we live in now. 
that the true light sleeps deep within the darkness. That's why the worlds are still scattered, divided from each other. But someday, a door to the innermost darkness will open, and the true light will return. So listen, child. Even in the deepest darkness, there will always be a light to guide you. Believe in the light, and the darkness will never defeat you. Your heart will shine with its power and push the darkness away. Mm-hmm. Kyrie, something tells me. I didn't run into her by accident. <sighs> On first, it never ends. Over there! Oh, can you hear me now? I think my headset might have been muted. Okay, so can you hear me now? Okay, phew. Yeah, and that probably means my commentary up to this point didn't show up in the... <sighs> Darn it. Oh well. Well, that'll make for a bit of a funny business when it goes up on YouTube. Anyway, we're chasing after Trinity Armor. Let's around that guy. Thunderbolt! Ignore those. But thank you for speaking up about that, Paragon. Otherwise, I might have gone this entire stream without noticing that. And I'll let this one play out, because I like the Trinity Armor's construction sequence.
Honestly, when it poses it like that, for some reason I can hear, like, a Sentai Team's Mecha Complete cry. Oh yeah, I got Meteor Shower for Aqua because it's just a really good shot lock. One thing I will say about Trinity Armor is that probably the best element to use against him is uh, Thunder, simply because Thunder spells have an AoE and they'll strike multiple parts at once. Oh yeah, I forgot. Aqua, lock onto the arms, not the head. There we go. But anyway, the whole thing with the uh, name of my finisher that I should have mentioned, or at least that I did mention earlier, but you guys didn't hear. I mean, I didn't the I did the first two in like alliterations, but I couldn't think of a third one, so I just went with something that I thought sounded cool, but probably isn't all that cool. Anyway, this scene again, skipping. Get the Disney Town Pass. Aqua got Blade Charge, which hmm, just doesn't really seem like her kind of finish command. And of course, that's just Trinity Armor in the reports. But like, this is my. Uh, Progression Magic Pulse, Arcane Assault, Curse Crush, and then I just break that with Hecate's Wrath. I think the final one is Magic Volley, which I'll probably leave alone. But either way, we have a world to continue. That we get a high potion. Oh, that could work. Whether I earn it nap during this session or in my post game grinding, or rather in my post session free last area grinding, then I'll probably go with that. Lock Recipe, Thundara, Sticker, Chop. there we go, ooh, Donuts, why can't I, oh, because there's an Unburst right there. Finally! check something with that. Uh, nope. Apparently I was trying to eventually craft a Roga, because I can't craft that uh, Aurora into anything right now. But since I don't really need Aurora for anything, let's put Raging Storm in.
Now, Raging Storm is a little unique among Aqua's commands in that I don't think she has a dedicated recipe for it. Or at the very least, it's a very late game recipe. However, she can gain it early by crafting other recipes and it has a 5 to 10% chance of creating instead depending on the recipe. And I just got lucky. away. Open that up. And we finally get Aqua's counter. Oh yeah, I never did show that I changed my barrier out for renewal barrier. Which basically means that when I successfully block, it, well, it put, gives me back some HP. Is it me, or does a higher distance fall mean more time you're left dangling before you can climb up? Oh, just as I said it would happen, here's the third one. That book is almost more trouble than it's worth. Uh, Say no more. The book you need to awaken the powers within you is just inside. Read to your heart's content, my dear. I'm the third? Terra and Ventus were here? Yep. <laughs> Open that up to get Xehanort Report 3. Examine this to unlock the Hundred Acre Wood Command Board, which I think I've already shown off, and if I have, well, I don't really plan to do it again. But, might as well unlock it anyway. And, there's our third puzzle peak sticker here. There we go. And cutscene. And I think boss fight. Because of course he has to be here. You're the boy that Ventus mentioned. Ah, yes. Ventus. Tell me something. Has he learned to put up a decent fight yet? What do you mean? I'll be asking the questions. And why shouldn't I? After all, between the two of us, I'm the only one who'll walk away from here alive. <sighs> yes, Alright, that's a pretty... Alright, I admit that's a pretty cool line. doesn't like Raging Storm very much. Is it me or has he missed that teleport a lot in this fight? Yeah. 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 
Didn't even need to cure Aga. Come on, Vanitas. I know you can put up a better fight than that. Oh, stop panting. You didn't even lose half your health bar. Who are you? <laughs> Not bad at all. Congratulations. I'll keep you around. Never hurts to have a backup. Yeah, he has a really cool laugh. I have to stop him. So why didn't you Before stab him when he started laughing? Aqua! Ven! Were you able to find him? Yeah, but... He's gone. Right. Then I can't stay here. Let me go with you, Aqua. No, Ven. Do Aqua. As say and go home. Let him help. Why won't you let me? I don't I'm asking that same question. Way. He's already been in harm's way and survived this long. Giving him a goodbye hug. <sighs> well, she didn't. So, we're off. Disney Town awaits. Ta -da! We're in the mask of peace and hope. Comes the fearless defender and hero of this town. It is me, Captain Giustice. <laughs> I love Pete's pose. Huh? Now listen, you pipsqueak. I'm Captain Justice. Who are you to walk away when the bonafide hero is offering his help? Um, I'm sorry, but I really don't need any kind of hero. Bonafide or... Somebody! <laughs> come quick! Horace Horse Collar. And I believe this is his What's first... Trouble? Captain ...voice Justice role or you. really anything... ...for a very long time. Like, Horace is a classic you Disney Shorts character. Shame. But honestly, I think this is his... Maybe this job's perfect for you, Mr. Hero. Well, oh, yeah, he definitely gives me a Wario Man vibe. Who's Normally greedy, bad guy dressing up as a superhero. Plaza. They're all yours now, Captain J. Monsters. Don't tell me the Inverse are here. Monsters? Well, too bad. Not on my list. I didn't know bona fide heroes got to pick. But I wouldn't stand a chance of surviving. You rather fit them into my skin. Uh, yeah. Horace is a classic well, Disney Shorts I character. You said you were but the thing justice. is, well, he you never made it big as his peers. And, loose. and well, he hasn't oh, been in park. anything for a long, long for time. And Birth by Sleep was probably his only Do real fear, big appearance in the way. modern era. Sounds like this catastrophe can't wait. But uh, like he can't even I'll find this guy in the parks. In fact, I think this might be Horace's oh, only I'm voice sure role in will, the Captain modern era. But I don't think I'll stay here and hold my breath. 
I'm Does anyone know who voices hero, him? But maybe I could help if you want. Would you? Oh, that'd be just Jim Dandy. Someone needs to trounce those fiends at Fruit Ball and keep them away from the plaza. I'll try. Just give a holler once you're ready, and I'll explain to you how Fruit Ball works. He says Fruit Ball, and all I think of is this one annoying orange episode that was uh, Super Bowl come uh, special. One of the better episodes of that. Yeah, I used to watch that when I was younger, and... Maybe that's why I like buns so much. Open this up to get the map. Grab a potion. And before we help Horus out, we're gonna hop into the sewers and go get Aqua's, uh... Well, basically get all the stuff down there, and then we're gonna go talk to Horus and play Fruit Ball. You know, I've always imagined Raging Storm as being like Aqua's signature spell since... Well, I mean, just look at it! Bill Farmer. What are some of his other roles? And now before Thunderbolt runs out, quickly charge up the thing. Oh! Well, that explains why they're so similar. Like, you can hear Goofy a little bit if you listen closely. But actually, I think Goofy might have been one reason why Horus didn't really... ...take off, I guess. I mean, for him to be named and considered one of the classic Disney characters, he has to have been in more than one short. Though for the life of me, I couldn't name one. I love classic Disney, but I don't know it that well. Phew, that was close. Yeah, another thing about Aqua is I'm pretty sure she doesn't get any air dash. Because otherwise she'd lose her ability to use her barrier in midair. Instead, she gets double she gets a double jump later. means that a lot of her jumps are harder to make. Activates Thunderbolt, immediately surrounds self in fire. Come to think of it, I never put another command here. Uh, might as well level up something new. And jump! Boing. That's one green. 
two green. Whoa! Alright, got bumped over here. Open that up. And hop. Three. There we go. Nuts. Open that up to get Aqua's break time. Which I will show off once we get out of the pinball room. Actually, forget that other alcove. Open that up to get a soothing crystal. And before we move over and trigger any unverse. Pretty cool. And there's a slot edge. And over there, I don't think there's a chest like there was for Ven. So, hop down. There we go. But anyway, break time won't help me much, so... Back to zero Gravera. Talk to Horus. And let's get started. Basically, your goal is, well, it's kind of like volleyball, in a way. Hit the fruit balls into your opponent's goal to score. Each fruit has a different reaction when you hit it. You press X to shoot straight ahead. Square for a curve shot. You can use triangle to bump it into the air and then either shoot fast or smash it at your opponent's. If you have the most points when the time runs out, you win. The fruits will knock you around and can actually curve. Sheesh, I'm getting my butt kicked. Well, the best of gotcha. the Disney Town mini games, but actually, considering how bad I am, 
at it. I don't know if I can say that in good faith. Oh yeah, Net will appear in the center about halfway through. Just to make things a little tougher. Crap. And you have to win the game to actually could progress. Like, if you tie, or obviously if you lose, you don't... Like, obviously if you lose, you don't get anything. But if you tie, you don't get... Have to continue either. Fruits will burst after being hit too many times. No! Come on! Go in the goal! I lost. Especially since I think I pushed some of them into my goal at the end there. Ah. I know better than to hit continue. Mario Sports, this ain't. Sometimes you can block a fruit with another fruit. May or may not work against you. Alright, I got cocky last time. I don't know if the game lowered the difficulty for me because I lost, or... If I just had a bad game last time, but I'm doing much better. Wait, why did I say that? Wait, did I knock out some of the unverse? Oh yeah, you can do that by smacking the fruits into them enough. I usually don't play Fruit Ball beyond, well, this one sequence. 
Wow. Okay, that time I won pretty handily. My, you sure taught those monsters a lesson. You're the real hero in town if you ask me. He's right, my dear. I couldn't agree more. Thank you so much. Who are you? I'm Minnie. And she's our queen. Oh, please excuse me, your majesty. Where are my manners? My name is Aqua. There's no need to be so formal. Just call me Minnie. sure I'm doing a very good job protecting my kingdom. Oh, don't say that, Queen Minnie. We all know how hard it's been since the king set off the way he did. Don't you trouble yourself. Why, we wouldn't even think of putting on our yearly dream festival if we thought there was the slightest chance anything might go wrong. Oh, you're very kind, Horace. How about that Pete, though? Captain Justice, my high. You can't count on him for anything. Wait, you're saying his real name is Pete? Well, it sure as sugar isn't justice. Pete never does anything for anybody except Pete. That get up is just an act to get folks to vote for him. He wants to win the Million Dreams Award and hog the prize. Million Dreams Award? What is that? It's part of our dream festival. We all vote for who we think the most admirable citizen is. But Pete seems to have the wrong idea. He thinks that dressing up as a hero and proclaiming that he is one will win him votes. What really makes someone a hero isn't what they wear or what they say. It's the things they do and how they treat everyone. Well, in my book, Aqua here is number one. You got my heartfelt vote. <sighs> Thanks, Horace. I promise I'll try not to let you down. See that you don't. My vote's very important. Oh, dear. He sounds serious. <laughs> Being popular is tough. And of course, there's this scene, but Aqua's the one who's Who supposed to get it. Win this year's Million Dreams Award? And I think canonically, oh, this is her scene. But I'm gonna just let it play out. Wow, Aqua's good show would be proud of us if we actually won. Yeah, and I bet Aqua Dada would be pretty surprised too. Hello, everyone, and thank you for waiting. Now it's time to begin the main event of our dream festival. The Million Dreams Award Presentation. <laughs> Just skip to the part where you say my name. This is a shoe in. Oh, how very exciting! This year, we have multiple winners. The Million Dreams Award goes to... Ventus, Aqua, and Terra. All three of you. <laughs> you mean Ven and Tara were here? What do you mean? Yep. There's gotta be a mistake. Everybody voted for Captain Justice. I made sure. Now go on, tell her. No. Better try the other one. The Rogue Racer, Captain Dark! Pete, we counted the votes very carefully. Ventus, Aqua, and Terra won. Oh, Pete, I think you tried to do something good, but you were doing it for the wrong reasons, and you went about it the wrong way. Still, a couple of citizens must have thought you had goodness in you because you actually got a few votes. They knew you were looking out for them. Big whoop. I don't need their lousy votes. Just cough up my prize. Pete! They voted for you because they believe in you and care about you. How could you look down on that? 
I've tried to forgive a lot of things you've done, but this is too much. Now you finally crossed the line. Like that matters to me. Besides, what are you gonna do about it? Huh, I'm gonna let you cool off for a while. Guards! Wait, wait, what? Hey, let me go. Put me down. What? No, you can't. No, no, no. Hey, easy. Ow. Now, shall we continue the ceremony? Will the three winners, Ventus, Aqua, and Terra, please come up and join me on the stage? Dear, it looks like our other two winners couldn't make it here to be with us today. My thought is that the Disney Town escapades did happen Perhaps pretty much simultaneously, or at least only a few After hours all, apart. You've been so but Ven and so Terra didn't festival. really bother to stick around, so now, and I since Aqua arrived at the end of the day, she's the one who picked up the prize. So honestly, I would have had them all meet up again in this world and kind of use it as a making up arc. What's it taste like? Go on, try it. And honestly, I think this treat might actually be something they have at the parks. At the very least, it looks like a, a Disney theme park treat. What do you think? Delicious. You couldn't have picked a better flavor. Oh, we're all very glad you're enjoying it. Not <laughs> just how. I'd forgotten just how really. Bad Aqua's voice actresses in this game. And again, judging by how many stops and such that I have in my commentary, I can't really talk. <sighs> anyway, our next stop Olympus. Wow, I'm really not beating around the bush. Right off the bat. Stand back, sweet cheeks. I'll take care of this. Hurt the royals. Considering how Phil was introduced in the movie, I could actually see him. Like, I can actually see him really doing that. If you haven't seen Hercules in a while, Phil was introduced when Herc found him perving on a bunch of things. Because, you know, he's a satyr. It's kind of what they did. Lamb. 
There we go. Oi, those wackos almost made euros out of it. Well, maybe if you weren't trying to show off. Who asked you, kid? You'll understand more when you're older. <sighs> and stronger. Strong enough to be a hero. You think being strong is the same as being a hero? Sure. Mostly. Uh, look how strong Terra is, and he's champion. Terra. So, sugar cakes. You got any plans for later? You know, I trained a few heroes in my time. Maybe I could recite you a little epic poetry. Do you really know Terra? Of course I do. He's the local hero everybody's going gaga for. Oh, now I get it. You're one of his fans. Everywhere I go, it's Terra this, Terra that. More like Terra Bull. Oh, no. You see, I just want to track him down. Yeah. Tell me about it, sister. You and the rest of Greece. Kid shows up out of nowhere, goes and wins the first games he ever enters, dazzling the whole town, and then the nudnik up and vanishes. Is Nudnik a Everybody Greek says word? Everybody Terra's the real thing. A true hero. I can't wait till I'm that tough. Right. He's so tough, he turned the last Shlemiel who faced him into a raving yow. Come on, Phil. Be nice. So you're telling me he isn't here? That's all Whoa, you took away from so that? Fast. He may not be here right now, but you never know. He could always decide he's gonna show up for the games. Yeah. It's to defend his title. And if you enter, there's always I a chance that you makes might sense run too. into him. I got an idea. I'll sign you up myself. And if you need a trainer, I'd be more than happy to put you through the ropes. But Phil, I had to practically beg you to agree to train me. Shh, pipe down, kid. You and she ain't got the same attributes, if you know what I mean. You know, you're right. Please sign me up for the games. My name is Aqua. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Now, let's start with a few basics. Thanks, I won't need a trainer. Ah, women. Never changes. So I suppose you still want me to go and get you signed up. Meet me in a vestibule when you're ready. Well, at least you didn't immediately retract that offer. Continuing on through. Open that up to get the map. And let's see if the Moogles have anything for us. Well, I don't have a stop or a command, so might as well get one. Alright. Let's get started. Aqua basically goes to the same thing as Terra. And thinking about it, I probably should have equipped Mega Flare. Eh, I probably won't need it. much. Speaking of that kind of slang, I still need to reinstall Steam. I got my account back on all, but I just haven't bothered to reinstall it. Well, 
probably because I wasn't using it very much nowadays. That's why I love the triple spells. And I think plot happens after this one. Or at least after the next one. Okay, yeah, after this one. Raging Storm. And when the timer stops like that, it means... ...that you've won. Just need your attack animation to end. left is the final and still no sign of Terra the guy I'm supposed to fight is someone else named Zack aqua what? right hey I'm Zack your opponent in the final where did you Man, come from finally. once I beat you I get to take on Terra hey <laughs> good Terra. luck with that Zack why I don't understand are you saying there's another match after the final Uh oh guess you didn't get the memo oh Phil would you tell her the rules <clears throat> Fine, here's how it is. The games are divided into two brackets. You got your east, you got your west. The winners from each bracket face off in a championship match. Now, right now, you are competing in the east, and we got no idea about the other side. For all we know, your boy Terra could be cruising through over in the west. Then I shouldn't be fighting matches here. I should be over there, looking for him. No, you, uh, can't. It's not allowed. Athletes are expressly forbidden from watching matches in the other bracket. Did he just make that up? How should I know? All right, fine. Look, you gotta just stay and fight this match. The two athletes I entered defaulted before they made it to the top. Give a guy a break. I got a reputation. Uh, hey, do it for us too? All right, then. I'll finish what I started. You Again, Seder. <laughs> oh, the gods are smiling on me today. I'll be waiting for you in the vestibule. Just tell me when you're ready to go. A match between Zack and Aqua? This I can't miss. Ixnay on the action way. You got training to complete. Oh, that's right. Well, good luck, guys. I'll see you around. Aqua, give it your best out there. You too. I am so fired up. And this is where Aqua's second biggest ship comes exactly. from. Terra is a friend of mine. How exactly is it that you know him? Or at least one of them. He saved my life. During the last games, this dude named Hades tried to make Terra his pawn of darkness. And he used me to do it. He had some kind of magic or something that made me crazy. Gave me weird powers that I turned against... Terra. But you know what? Terra freed me. And he didn't need the darkness to do it. I had no idea. Well, that's enough with the drama. I guess I'll see you in the ring, huh? Terra. All right, wait a minute. Fill up the health bar first. Then talk to Phil. Aqua, 
I promise Terra I'd face him. Fair and square. The friendship between boys. It almost makes me jealous. Let's fight. Sorry, Zack. But not only is Terra not here, even if he was, you wouldn't be getting past me. He is affected by that. Now flip away. Let's see how he takes it. Okay. Yeah, that's another problem with Raging Storm. He... Well, it has a long startup. got a long ways to go if I'm gonna become a hero. <laughs> Having not played through Final you know, Fantasy VII you, beyond very here far. I drop in to see which muscle head was up next. <laughs> well, I don't know much about Holy Zach. Hydras, it's just a little girl, a little lassie, a little bluebird. <laughs> Hades! Did his bug eyes spray. drop a little lower, is or was that mosquito? just me? Where did I put that bug spray? Mosquito? So you're Hades. You use Zack and try to cast Terra into the darkness. So, I take it you're acquainted with the spineless chicken. Terra is my friend, and I hear he triumphed over the darkness. He's not spineless. <laughs> Funny, you know, because I heard different. <laughs> you see, it was mm. chicken heart. Who asked me for a little, shall we say, instruction on how to use darkness in the first place? Never! And he was so close to doing it, too, when the sap went and got cold feet! Now, if that ain't cowardly, I don't know what is. But you, my little bluebird, no, why you not just lit didn't over here tell him how to use it the way he wanted to for know. The, winning team. the darkness doesn't interest me. Well, that was rude. A no thank you, your godliness, might have sufficed. Fortunately, I still get to <clears throat> destroy you. Rules say you face me next. And I have a whole lot of darkness with your name on it. <laughs> Get back here, Hades! <clears throat> Man, if only I were up against him. Aqua. You gotta avenge me and Terra. I will. Hades is up next, but knowing who he's got with him, I'm, eh, I probably won't get much use out of Raging Storm, but I'll keep it anyway. Uh, well, let's hope the remake does have a accurate translation. Just so I can craft an Aeroga later, I'm gonna put a regular arrow spell there. Yeah, I'm glad I, re I saw about that before I fought that boss. Talk to Phil. And let's get started. Ooh, that looks familiar. Ooh, that looks real familiar! <sighs> we have a dual boss on our hands. Hades and... I never said one-on-one. -on -one. The Ice Colossus. No fair, Hades. Yeah, that's not the I actual Ice Titan. Rules. Rule number two. It's Come a weaker copy. They call for backup. Maybe you better call yours, Bluebird. He's already here! <laughs> Don't, Zack. Uh... Oh, come on, Aqua! I can do this on my own! Though I am glad they brought back that Kingdom Hearts 
one battle music that they use for the Ice Titan battle in that game. See? Now let's see. Okay, so they don't share a health bar. In that case, I want to go after the Colossus first. Really should have switched Zero Graviga out for Triple Faraga. Hades has his old te techniques back from Kingdom Hearts 1 and Chain of Memories. So he can do that now. And yeah, when he's all fired up like that, you can't hurt him. So I wonder if I've actually not... Though the Colossus isn't actually the one you need to defeat, if I'm correct. Yeah. You just need to actually defeat Hades first. I think that might be part of the reason he's staying down like that. Bada boom. Yeah, whenever he says bada boom, that means he's gonna do flare spin. Come on. And this ain't nothing compa compared to the whipping Persephone's gonna give you when you get home. I knew that snow cone wouldn't cut it. I need a real Titan. <laughs> Stay tuned! Too bad for Hades, the Ice Titan never appears in the series again, coded notwithstanding. Stupid Hades. Next time I'll put him in his place. Oh, oh yeah, you're the champ. We gotta celebrate. Huh? That won't really be necessary. Hmm. Hey, how about one date? He says that, oh, and immediately me, the shippers no. go wild. I have to leave right away. Besides, I still have so much training to do. Fair enough. And I'm still a work in progress, after all. Huh? Well, how about this? I become a hero, then we go on a date. I... I can't make any promises. Yes! Great, it's settled. Hero hood, here I come. <laughs> Were you listening, Zack? Oh, it's over already? And I finished today's training in record time. Well, uh, still a pretty nice room? scene. Your face is red. Uh, it doesn't nothing. seem any redder okay. than it normally is. You want to be a hero too, right? Strength alone won't make you into one. Yeah, I know, I know. Strength alone won't make me a true hero. I'm starting to figure that out. I look at you and Zack, and I can tell there's something more. You've got strength in your heart, too. Never stop trying. And one day you might just become a true hero after all. Tara, you too. Keep fighting. You know what really would have made this a lot easier? If Ericus had given Terra and Aqua some way of communicating. Like, they didn't have to travel together. Just give them, like... I guess a gummy phone probably wasn't invented yet, but some sort of old-timey equivalent to it. Like a flip phone or something. If he'd done that, I mean, who knows? The story could have played out differently. Anyway! Let's tackle deep space. And then, depending on our time, we might just go to Neverland.
Is there any world they haven't found? Any world that's not in this game? This looks like the Wayfinders, but how did it get here? Tell me, where did you get that? Huh? Come out, you little trog! <gasps> Wait! You there! As Experiment 626 passed through this area. I don't understand. Experiment he is what? adorable. Don't be dense. Dr. Jumbo Jukiba's genetic abomination. 626. Small, blue, vicious. Him? But he didn't look vicious. Ah, so you have seen him? Yes, he's in the ventilation system. Blast, he got away again! He's like, hey, wait a minute. Hold it right there. Why don't I know you? What section are you from? Um, I'm... Don't waste a good lie on this. Trying to stow away, are we? I said stay close. That was pretty close. What is the meaning of this? Captain Gantu, did I not order you to apprehend the fugitives immediately? Yes, and I will have them in custody soon. They'd be locked up already if those wretched monsters were just... I mean, if I hadn't uncovered this potential stowaway. I wasn't trying to sneak on board. My name is Aqua. And those monsters? I followed them here. Please, I can handle this threat. Just give me a chance. Let me show you. The weapon I carry is the only one that can stop them. Our weapons are of no use against them? Well, I don't is know this about that. True? Well, we haven't explored all our options. Nor do we have time to. We are fortunate you are here, Aqua. Your assistance would be most welcome. But I like the Grand Councilwoman. You can't honestly believe what this stowaway says. I think you'll find I can. We have a crisis. Jumba and 626 remain at large, and these monsters are obstructing attempts to apprehend them. Or did I mishear your latest excuse as to why you've again failed to carry out your duties, Captain? Will you help us? Of course. Defeating them is my job. It's what I do best, ma'am. Then might I make one other request? Should you happen upon our fugitives, please do whatever you can to apprehend them intact. You want me to capture Dr. Jumba and Experiment 626? But you can't just... That's my job! You had your chance, Captain Gantu. Now you will stand down and await orders. <laughs> We will monitor the location of the monsters and keep you apprised. Thank you for your help, Aqua. Of course. I really like the Grand Councilwoman, Experiment mostly because six was carrying a well, she's a I reasonable authority figure, and I really Are like Tara that about her. And ben here too. I'm pretty sure that's not her voice actress from the movie, though. Who was her voice actress in the movie, anyway? Hip. 
come to think of it, there's no sign of the map either. We need to talk to the Grand Councilwoman again. Alright. Swap Gravera with regular old gravity. Oh, right, we have a new Keyblade. And on Aqua, it's frickin' useless. Wrong way, so... Anyway, little command melding. All right. I prefer Caldwell to uh, Glenn. Onward. I'm wondering if... Like, assuming Stitch did crash land in Hawaii in this version, like in the Kingdom Hearts world, I wonder if he and Lilo... Like, did Lilo have an easier time with him, or... Or do you think it was basically exactly like the movie? Like, one-to-one. -one. I mean, Stitch in the Birth by Sleep trio's interactions with him eventually learns about friendship and such. Which is basically what Lilo taught him. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean... Even after the movie, he's still a bit of a troublemaker. I mean, that's just a part of his personality. And apparently you can't take fire tornadoes upstairs. Heal up. You know, if Sora or Riku ever gets Keyblade armor, or when they inevitably make the uh, Birth by Sleep trio playable again. I kind of want a full transformation sequence for their Keyblade armors. Take that, gotcha. Take that. Anyway, Aqua's, uh, Aqua's glider is a shooter. I mean, it can do a little spinny attack. Its primary method of combat is being shot like a bow. Also, I kind of hope future Keyblade Glider appearances have them uh, able to shift the 
appearance of the glider to match whatever Keyblade you have equipped at that point. Because Terra, Aqua, and Venn's gliders always match what would basically be their default Keyblades. Actually, Aqu Aqua, you're missing a lot. Come here, you! There we go. Oh, Aqua does get air slide. Oh, that's right. To get to actually air slide, you need to hold a direction. That's why Aqua can still block in midair. This must be the Wayfinder that 626 was carrying around. Wonder how he lost it. Let's equip Air Slide and see if I'm right. Yep. Yep, gotta hold the direction to. Let's see, to get to the prison block, I think I need to... Well, I'm pretty sure I need to take the warp pad. effect is from Doom. Let's see. Another command to meld. Zero gravity. And Gravera. Let's make it a fleeting. Yep, unlocks another magic haste. Which is always useful on Aqua. In fact, let me check something. Yep, that's the last thing I needed to max out magic haste. And right over here, I'm pretty sure, is the map. Yep. Hey there, Stitch. Experiment 626. I have orders to take you in. Sarah! What? I think you and I need to talk. <sighs> well, right now, I think he's ready to let that destructive first. programming kick in. I do like how they don't take the shortcut of calling him a, of calling him Stitch in the information bars and keep it experiment 626 the entire time. Trying to do something? Hmm. 
I wonder if he was trying to do a team-up move, but I couldn't join in because I was in the middle of Raging Storm. Thanks. I owe you. What is it you're looking for? Huh? Wait! I just need to ask you! Dr. Jumba and Experiment 626 have been sighted. At that time, the two of them were wandering around the launch deck. Would you see that they're secured? Is Experiment 626 really that dangerous of a creature? We must assume so. All right, then. I'll head over there now. Well, out to the launch deck we go. Anti-gravity. Sticker, let's put it in place. That earns a stop barrier, which does exactly what the name implies. A successful block will inflict stop if the enemy is vulnerable to it. Let's turn the gravity back on so I can go get that treasure chest. Prism Rain. Finally, a new shot lock. Though, if I remember correctly, it's just a more colorful looking Ragnarok. Turn the gravity back off. Up up there. And head out the exit. Win. Come on. Take that. Come on. There we go. It's time to give up. Then I will fix abnormality. And ridiculous behavior stops. Not just the right. Like a kid's right. Hold I don't think right stabilizing his stabilizing his Experiment molecules will unteach him friendship. I've been authorized to take you into custody. So it really does belong to you, but 
Where have you seen that shape? I mean, he's been he's saying it the whole time. Good luck charm that boy Terra showed to him. Terra said friend gave him charm, was very protective of it. He really said that to you? Yes. Then you're still all right, Terra. And now, because of Terra and his little bauble, my genius creation is hesitating in his genetically programmed destructive instincts. Just look at him. Huh? What are you doing? Our orders are to capture them alive. I've decided to take a new approach. All right, you two. Any last words before I blast you into a million pieces? Boss fight! I'm just Big Bone! Freeze. I guess Stitch called him fat in Tantalog. Stop it! Why go after Stitch instead of Jumba first? I warn you, stay out of it! I guess we have to do this the hard way. The boss of Aqua's deep space is Captain Gantu. Darn. He's big, he's strong, but he's kinda slow. And his gun, apparently he doesn't know how to aim down. Because if you stand right next to him while he fires, he can't hit you. I was kind of hoping he'd just get hurt by doing that, but... Yeah, actually stunning Gantu takes a little bit of damage. Stitch, you want to do anything? Astro shot! Which is <laughs> basically throwing Stitch on Gantu's face and stunning him. I basically just fired a ball of magic straight through his abdomen. I observed everything on the monitor. I kind of wish they'd kept the encounter playing through this whole thing. You've been of great service, Aqua. Thank you. Well, Gantu didn't really have a straight fight with Stitch in the movie. Captain Gantu, he just tried to. 626 to the asteroid to which he's been banished. When you return, you're back on patrol. Not he just tried troll. to smash him, and then Stitch caught his fist and threw him out of his plane. Please, your highness, would you consider sparing Experiment 626? Spare him? He's an extremely dangerous creature. I cannot release such a menace. But it seems to me he's at least trying to make friends. At and least offer him not, parole? I really believe he can succeed. Very well, Aqua. If he behaves himself, I will consider shortening his eggs. Thank you, ma'am. There we go. She knows how to find compromise, and I like the Grand Councilwoman for that. Oh. I like the charm you made. Do you think maybe my circle of friends could become part of yours? Yeah. My name is Aqua. But to be my fair, we also Kara don't know how Mantis. much food or water he needs to survive, assuming he even needs to drink it. So he very well could have died on that asteroid if they had banished him to it. And that's assuming he could even breathe on it. Though I'm assuming he can. Anyway, we get hyperdrive. And this is normally where I'd cut the session, but... We're only an hour 40 in. And I'm thinking we could tackle Neverland.
Should we go to Neverland now? Or save it for next time? And do something in the Mirage Arena instead? I'm thinking Mirage Arena, but... Yeah, just to keep with the other two stories, Mirage Arena. This is Aqua's coloration for the... Marine... for the arena. And as for open battles... The only two new ones right now are Combined Threat and Monster of the Sea. Thing is, I also don't have any mind, mind commands, so I know I'll never win Monster of the Sea. So, Combined Threat it is. Unless you guys want to see me attempt Monster of the Sea before we finish. So now that we've got a little time to fight, I kind of hope the Mirage Arena comes back later. Like, maybe say that the group decides to use it to continue their training or something. Because I like this place. I mean, it's just a battle arena, but... I don't know, there's just something really cool about it. Actually, is the Mirage Arena in Unchained? I don't think it is, but... It does seem like the kind of thing that would be in Unchained. Ooh, that was close. But yeah, that's Prism Rain. Like I said, it's basically just a bunch of little lights. I said there wouldn't be any deaths in this part, and I meant it!
probably should have done that closer to all the others, but... You know, I don't know if I mentioned... It. I plan to do a... ...fic where, um... ...the Birth by Sleep trio gets to do Hunchback of Notre Dame. Like, basically, they get to go to that world and all that. Go through the movie. The first movie. Like, basically just as a... ...how would they do this sort of thing. But, uh... One thing I'd do is that Aqua would get tied to the stake with Esmeralda. And in a way that she can't summon her Keyblade, like her hands are under the ropes or something. And, uh... As soon as Quasimodo's carried Esmeralda off and she's free and Terra and Ven have cut themselves free as well, the first thing she does is cast Raging Storm and give Frollo a massive Death Glare. And even better, she takes, like, the fire from the burning, uh, pile of wood, melts it into the Raging Storm tornadoes, and just glares at Frollo, like, did you really think this would work? Everything is on fire now. Use this to get the almost. But anyway, this little challenge. It ends off in a rematch with the Trinity Armor. Only this time, there's no one around to draw its attack. Holy! Also, I think it might have some new attacks. But I'm not sure. At the very least, I've never seen it do that energy ball attack before. that. Yeah. Take that. Yeah. 
I'll have that miss. Sure, thanks for pushing me around. Am I just too far away? Is that why I'm losing my lock-ons constantly? Thanks for giving me all that HP back. Alright, there's the arms gone. I don't want to activate Raging Storm because I know it won't protect me from this guy's laser blasts. And I really don't want to get comboed to death. And there's no way to cancel out of Raging Storm, so... There we go! Defeating him earns Sky Climber. It took me 12 minutes instead of the five and a half that it was supposed to for me to get the bonus. But, I think we've gone on just long enough. Unless you guys want me to see Do you guys want me to attempt Monster of the Sea? Well, gotta give the people what they want. One attempt. Monster of the Sea basically, well, it is one of this game's super boss battles. Basically, it starts off with a bunch of smaller enemies that you have to destroy. And once you do, you get to fight against the boss, Monstro.
In fact, I think after I defeat these two on verse. Activated Sky Climber without trying. And it is really cool. Okay, apparently the bouncy things in Monstro's stomach can cancel you out of raging of uh Raging Storm, so that's something to remember. I think that's the last one. Okay, yep. Monstro spits us out of his blowhole. And we have three minutes to deal as much damage to him as we can. Okay. There he is. thing is, you don't have much room to maneuver on. The barrels are your primary way of dealing damage to monsters. So, other than getting relatively close and blasting away with magic. And even then, depending on your magic's range. Like, you can't swim up to him and whack him. You can't attack in the water. When he tries to do that... Then you can get on his tongue and attack him. You can swim faster by mashing circle. I can't tell if I'm doing more damage with Raging Storm than I would by just attacking, but I don't think I am. Oh my god, did I clip into his mouth? Yeah, I clipped into his mouth and he woke up. Swim away, swim away! Yike! This is another thing that'll happen. He'll knock you sky high. And then leap at you. Again. When he does that, like launching himself at the main platform like that, that's when mine come in and come in very handy. Because he'll land on them and just set take all the damage. Ow! I haven't played Resident Evil 4, so. Monstro will continue to do this stuff like he's a whale or looking for a skitty. He deals a lot of damage and I should really be higher level if I want to do anything. And once the time runs out... This happens... 
and you go back to fighting the normal enemies, only the stomach acid is higher. Until eventually, you won't have any safe ground. And the enemies get tougher each time. Apparently, despite it floating, Sky Climber does not keep me out of the acid, so there goes that cheating strategy. And since you can't D-Link in the Mirage Arena, there's no using that to help you either. Stop making me bounce and let me attack the thing. Missed him. Well, Monster was only added in Final Mix, so... Presumably they didn't really know about him. Now that I think about it, Raging Storm might have been the worst, one of the worst possible choices of an ability I could have brought to this. Simply because once I activate it, there's no way to stop myself from going into the acid. And since you can't heal while using it... Yeah, it could, de it could potentially screw me over. Like, even the regular enemies are taking me a little while to kill. This is clearly meant for something a little higher level. Not that it's impossible for Bolt to remember to defeat uh, this event at, you know, low levels. And yeah, definitely something to remember for next time. Heck, I'm pretty sure people have beaten the armor of the Master and no heart at level 1. Now, yeah. oh, man! Yeah. That's another thing that can get annoying about Monstro. If you miss... Or... Yeah. Or just smack the thing in the wrong way... Then that's... Yeah time you won't have to actually attack him. Not to mention it could miss you a chance to stun him. What was that? Well, that at least hit him. You think they would have, like, made him weak to thunder or something, because, you know, he's always in the water? Uh, heal. And I wouldn't bother trying to shot lock him either. By the time you get a full lock, he'll just dive underwater. Honestly, if Monstro didn't dive as much as he does, this battle would be a lot easier. Staying near his face when he jumps on the platform is pro probably the easiest way to avoid taking damage from that. And honestly, it's less likely that Monstro will kill you over just being overwhelmed by the enemies in the stomach acid when he sucks you back up. 
Like, if this was just the fight with Monstro, nothing else... This might actually be kind of easy. What I meant about it is getting less and less room to maneuver. I don't know if eventually it gets so high that you literally have nowhere to stand. And it doesn't help that that thing in the middle eventually starts spewing acid everywhere. I don't know what, what actually KO'd me there. My guess is that the acid poisoned me. But I survived longer than I thought I would. Alright, I guess we'll call it. Next time on Birth by Sleep, we'll finish up Aqua's story and then... Well, I'll probably do the final episode right there and then too. And then, if I've managed to unlock it, I'll do the secret episode. Alright. See y'all then. I need to look up how to unlock the secret episode.